Welcome to the Monash Sensory Science HIV Couscous Project. We're going to make a 3D HIV capsid without using a 3D printer. Simply by using a few key ingredients from the supermarket and the hardware store. If you're like me and you've got low vision, just feel your way around with the chicken wire. Don't worry about it, it's quite flexible. Find your way around with the sheet and start snipping. I've provided a PDF so that you can sort of trace around the shape, but you don't have to be too particular because it's a very forgiving material. This may take a little bit of time and do remember to wear your gloves because it can get quite sharp. When you're satisfied with the shape and you've got the piece you want, start moulding with your hands into a cylinder. So what you can do here is you can join the two sides together and then start joining the top and the bottom. This HIV capsid that I'm creating has the middle torn out of it to indicate the point at which the capsid enters the human cell and is breaking apart to deliver its RNA payload. So what I've done with this sculpture is I've joined everything up and then I've cut away again at the middle and pulled everything apart. But you can do whatever you like, you don't have to be too exact. Just keep playing until you're quite comfortable with the shape that you've got. Okay, now I think we're ready to begin coating. I've sped up this section, it can take quite a while. You'll see I've cut two sheets of foil together. I've made one with a puddle of nice thick PVA and the other with a big pile of couscous. So start by rolling your sculpture in the PVA until you've got a lovely thick coating and then bring it over to the couscous. It's kind of like crumbing a schnitzel. By using chicken wire and couscous we can simulate hexamere protein structures. This is definitely no ordinary schnitzel. The protein capsid of the HIV virus is an amazing piece of machinery. It can break apart on the surface of a human cell, open up its surface and then deliver its deadly RNA payload and then reassemble deep inside the human cell, hiding from the immune system never to be found. This is why the HIV virus is so deadly. When your sculpture's finished, you can paint it any colour you like. In my 3D model, I'm stuffing the insides with LED and L-wire lights. You can also use Christmas lights if you like and these will represent the RNA that's present inside the HIV capsid. It's wonderful to see how the lights are throbbing on and off showing the activity of the deadly RNA as it enters the immune system.